I'm an onion. I'm an onion. Take a look at my onion hairstyle. Look at that. So this was requested by one of my subscribers in Italy named Angela. She said, hey, Mark, do uh, an onion hairstyle. So look at that. Did I do it right? Did I do a good job? I'm not sure. But uh, you know how onions sort of have those, uh, that top part? You know, if you let an onion grow for a little bit, you're going to get that, uh, those green, green sprouts or those green shoots. What are they called? There are two kinds of, of vegetables in English that are very common. Okay. Can you see my, maybe I should come a bit closer. Can you see me there? Am I in focus? Okay, so, so the two kinds of vegetables are onion greens, which, uh, which are not onions. They're sort of like um, a, small, a small kind of onion that has a very small bulb. Okay, a very small, onions have big bulbs, right? But onion greens have pretty small bulbs, at least compared to, uh, compared to full-sized onions. And, uh, and then the second kind of vegetable is, uh, is, is chives. Okay, do you know what chives are? So chives and onion greens are, are pretty similar, but chives are smaller. Okay, I would say chives are actually quite a bit smaller than onion greens. Actually, I looked it up before making this video and uh, the first result on Google said uh, the, the, actually the difference, the main difference between chives and onion greens is that, is that onion greens are considered vegetables, whereas chives are typically considered herbs. Did you know that? You know the difference between a, a vegetable and a herb? Herbs usually have a really like a strong, a strong flavor. You know, like, like herbs would be like thyme, oregano, sage, those kinds of, of plants. Do chives have... Do chives have a stronger flavor? I'm not sure. Now, now I think some chives can be from, from garlic. Okay, I'm not actually sure. There are a bunch of plants that are really similar. You know, they're onion greens, uh, shallots, uh, chives. And then I think, I think chives and garlic chives are different. I think, I think chives are sort of its own herb, I guess, herb or vegetable. And then, and then garlic chives probably have a stronger flavor than than normal chives. I'm not an expert on these things about uh, chives and onion greens and shallots and those things, but what I am an expert on is uh, is hairstyles. I am an expert. Tell me, am I an expert? Do you like this hairstyle? Should I keep it permanently, or should I just keep uh, keep talking to you guys about vegetables and herbs? Actually, I was thinking uh, with these foods, with 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 onion greens and chives, uh, there's one food in in western cuisine that we use these for one food particularly that comes to mind okay do you know which food i'm thinking about smash like if you know which food i'm thinking about the word cuisine means uh means cooking okay it means food you know if we talk about western cuisine we're talking about western style cooking western dishes western food okay so so there's one food that i'm thinking of in western cuisine that is really popular especially as a side. Do you know what a side is? Okay, if you go to any restaurant here in Canada or the US uh, and you order, let's say you order a main dish of like, uh, let's say steak or chicken or soup or, or some other main dish, okay, you're gonna have the option of at least a few sides, maybe one or two or three sides that you can choose. Okay, I mean, you're not just gonna eat meat. You're not just going to eat steak. You're going to eat steak with with maybe salad or or maybe with soup as a side or or French fries. That's probably the most common side. But but there's one side that is also uh, is also pretty common, and that is a baked potato. Have you ever had a baked potato? If you've never eaten a baked potato, you got to try them. You know, it's it's a very common food here in Canada and the U.S. Okay, so if you go to a restaurant and you order a main dish, you'll probably have the option. To order a baked potato as a side. Okay, so so how what a baked potato is? It's a potato that's wrapped in tin foil, you know, aluminum foil, and it's it's baked in in the oven, or it's uh, it's baked on a barbecue or or in a in a fire pit. Actually, baked potatoes are really common camping foods because they're easy to make. You just wrap the potato in tin foil, you put it in the fire 
for however long I'm not sure and then you and then you take it out and then you you unwrap the potato or maybe you don't even unwrap it you just cut it down the middle cut it the long way down the middle and then uh, and then you put four things on it okay do you know what those four things are um, okay so so first you put butter okay well this is how most people do it. you can decide how you want to do it okay so most people put butter first and then sour cream and then bacon bits, okay, and then chives or onion greens. Okay, baked potatoes are actually pretty dry. They're a dry food. You know, it's not, it's not enjoyable to just eat a plain baked potato. It's too dry. So that's why people put butter and sour cream on the potato to make it, uh, to sort of, sort of moisten it up a bit, you know, moisten it up. That means give it a little bit of moisture, you know, so it's, so it's not so dry. And then, and then after that, they put bacon bits. You now the bacon bits are great because they, they provide a bit of, uh, of texture, you know, like a, a baked potato is just sort of, sort of bland. Bland means boring. You know, it's the texture is sort of, uh, just sort of bland. So, so the bacon bits give it a bit more of like a crunchy texture. And then, uh, and then the chives give it, uh, sort of give it a bit of a fresh, bit of a fresh sort of a, a zesty taste and, uh, and, and give it a bit more life, you know, a bit more color. You know, very often chives are used as a garnish. Okay, chives or onion greens are, are something green, you know, very often green things are used as a garnish. Do you know what a garnish is? Okay, a garnish is basically like a, a food decoration. You know, if you go to a restaurant, you know, you'll get your plate and then there'll probably be like at least one or two things on the plate that are just useless, that are just, just for decorating. You're not gonna eat them, right? Like uh, like maybe a sprig of cilantro or a sprig of, of parsley or something like that. You know, just something nice to give the plate a bit more color or maybe uh, maybe a slice of orange or a slice of lemon, you know, give give the plate some orange or some some yellow color. Chives and and onion greens could be a, could be a good garnish, right? So they just give it a bit more color. So so yeah, with baked potatoes, you know, putting chives on it makes it uh, I don't know, it just gives the baked potato a bit more color and and it looks really nice. So so yeah, so that food, baked potatoes, uh, that's this is very common to use onion greens or or chives. Just wanted to teach you guys those words today and uh, show you guys my nice new hairstyle. Let me know, what do you think? Smash like if, uh, if you like this hairstyle, if you think it should be permanent, or uh, if you think I should move on to uh, another hairstyle, then leave a comment right down there. I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are, and uh, as always, I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care. I used a rubber band to tie up my hair. Do you like it?